Hello? Is anyone there? No? What was that? Hello? Hi. Ah! I... Really? I just said hi. Yeah, that was terrifying. Well, it is Friday the 13th, and it is supposed to be terrifying. Huh. Yeah, I get that. I guess so. Um. <laughs> Anyways, TSA, I'm Colby. And I'm Bella. And, um, you want me to say Yeah. It? And today, we will have reports on Friday the 13th, spooky movies, word of the day, this day in history, TV trivia, and lunch announcements. Now let's go to Chloe for her report on Friday the 13th. Hey, I'm Chloe, and today is one of the scariest times of the year, and because of that, here are some myths on this infamous day. For example, it is believed that the number 13 was associated with the Last Supper, with Jesus and his 12 disciples, seeming that the 13th person who sat down was Judas, who later betrayed Jesus, leading to his crucifixion. According to Norse mythology, 12 gods sat at a feast when the unwelcome guest, Loki, the god of mischief and disorder, came in. Since there were 13 guests there, one of them had died during the meal. Even the biblical meaning of the number 13 is bad. It means Satan, evil, wickedness, devils, and everything vile that is connected to them. There are many names of people who have done severe and wrong things, such as Jeffrey Dahmer, Osama bin Laden, and Adolphus Hitler. Although it seems far-fetched, they all have done wrong, and the number of letters in their name is 13. Well, Friday the 13th is spooky. It's also a movie. Speaking of movies, let's go to Sophia for her report on spooky movies. During this time, fall and autumn, most people like to celebrate something that keeps everyone on their toes. Halloween. Hey DSA, I'm Sophia, and I prepared a list of what some of the spookiest movies you can watch during the fall. During this cool season, many of us like to celebrate by watching some scary movies. Well, let's see what they are. Hocus Pocus was listed as the number one spooky movie for family in 2022. It's such a fun movie to watch with anyone, and it gives you the thrill, but doesn't haunt your nightmares. The next movie is very artistic and includes stop motion to create the movie, The Nightmare Before Christmas. Third on the list is Beetlejuice, which was made in 1988. This was when the horror movies started to gain popularity. The next movie is Hubie Halloween. This one is a horror comedy, which came out in 2022, starring Adam Sandler and Noah Schnapp. And last but not least is Halloween Town, which came out in 1998 and is originally made by Disney. Universal even created its icons of horror during the black and white era, which eventually gave us new icons to live on in the popular culture. Well, that's all I have for today, DSA. I'm Sophia, reporting for Create TV. I love all of this spooky stuff. Uh, feels more like a disquieting discomfort. Disquieting? Wait, that's our word of the day. Disquieting, adjective causing anxiety or uneasiness, disturbing. Example, the house is filled with disquieting disturbance. Hey, how long ago did The Nightmare Before Christmas come out? Uh, 30 years ago. Wait, what, the 90s was that long ago? Oh, um, well, speaking of long ago, let's go to this day in history. Year 54, Nero becomes the Roman Emperor by succeeding Claudius. 1931, the musical Everybody's Welcome premieres in New York City with Tommy and Jimmy Dorsey. 2016, Bob Dylan, an American singer and songwriter, was awarded the Nobel Prize for Literature. 2019, Simone Biles won the 25th medal at the World Championship in Stuttgart, Germany, becoming the most decorated gymnast in history. Do you ever count how many pieces of candy you get on Halloween? Yeah. Why? Well, uh, George needs help with his homework and the kids in the questions got a lot of candy. Plus, he cannot count. Wait, George? As in 
The monkey, George? Yeah. Well then, um, let's go to TV trivia. Hey, DSA. I'm having trouble with my homework. You think you can help me? Too bad. You don't have a choice. Jimmy has 142 pieces of candy. Johnny has 263 pieces of candy. Jezebel has four times the amount of candy Johnny has, minus four times the amount of candy Jimmy has. How much candy does Jezebel have? A. 568. B. 484. C. 468. D. 584. The answer is B, because we need to take 263 and multiply that by 4. Then, we get 1,052. Next, we take 142 and multiply it by 4. Then, we get 568. We then take 1,052 and subtract 568 from it. We are left with 484 pieces of candy. Thanks, TSA. Now I can complete my homework. And always remember... Your fears can become a reality. Bye! Hey, Bella, what are you getting for lunch? Um, a candy apple covered in chocolate and caramel. Wait, are, are you serious? No, I'm getting hot lunch. <laughs> oh, anyways, let's go to lunch announcements. Just a reminder, there is no lunch on Monday, October 16th. So, lunch for Tuesday, October 17th is chicken and waffles, turkey snack box, chef salad, baked beans, fresh veggie tray with ranch, and a fruit tray. That's all we have for today, DSA. Have a spooktastic day. And always remember, we, we love, love you. you. Boo! Boo.